Good, Good morning. morning and aloha from Hilo. It's our last Hawaiian port. I was going to say island, but we've already been here because Kona and Hilo are on the big island. That's true. Hawaii. So the plan for today is to take the gang down and check out Volcanoes National Park. Yes. I was like, did you forget? I was, I, this is a test, a test. It's, I need some coffee. Before Volcanoes my brain National Park. Because we're with our friends and they've never been here before and it's beautiful, worth a shot to go look at it again, especially if there's been uh, volcanic activity. Oh, it will probably look different from the last time we were here, which there has been. Yeah, there was. There's mm -hmm. not now, but there has been. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. All right, but we've got the rental car through Turo. We have our GPS guide. We are going to be ready to roll. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's grab some breakfast snacks. Ah, perfect. The pastry section. Oh, we got cereal, muffins, yogurts, coffees. Down to deck four. Woohoo! Well, we don't know if we have any beaching today, but let's get some towels just in case. Alright, we are picking up our car at the general store just across the street from the port, which also we found the best musubi in the world at. So, um, Hopefully they have some. I'm gonna see if they have some today. Yeah. Well, there's the terminal building. Exit to two streets, sounds like us. little table back there they had a free downtown Hilo shuttle. We've seen free shuttles at quite a few of these ports to the downtown area which is nice. I've exited the port and hung a left and there is our pedestrian walkway behind those yellow barricades over there. Now is there snow up on the top of that mountain? Whoa! That's awesome. Mile zero. There's the beginning of the state highway. We have made it to the general store. They got a coffee shop but I'm here for the Kaukaha General Store. Kaukaha. Oh, they've got a giant bowl of masubi at the register, but we're gonna hit the drink section first. Aha, ride for the day. Volcanoes Park. Like Jurassic Park. So cool. So we're here first stop at the steam vents and we're driving along and we're just like, wow, because it is really a sight it to be old. Yeah, we're doing the park kind of in the reverse order that we did last yeah. time. We ended with this last time, but we figure we'll come up to the steam vents and the crater and do the dramatic stuff first, then work our way back. It's so. really quiet right now, which is great. Yes. We, the two of us. We here. did. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, even across the street from where we are now, you can see all that steam vent activity over there. Uh-oh, cars are coming. Now here, we're gonna get into some drama. These are the steam vents you can get up close to, you can smell them. It's a, it's a, yeah. Oh my God, it's hot. Yeah, oh no, it's really hot. Yeah, this is, this is thermal, volcanic, Jesus. I mean. <laughs> that is hot. People throw money in their apparel. What? <laughs> Let's go get some hot money out of there. Wait. Oh, there goes the glasses. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fog up. We're gonna fog lenses, glasses, <laughs> oof. I can't see anything. <laughs> there it goes away. If you're cold, this is where it comes down. Yes, it's perfect. It's yeah, oh, oh gosh, I can't see anything. Wet. Help, I don't know if you can see Hello. us. I can't see you. Can we? <laughs> Oh gosh. It's not a friend to people with glasses. <laughs> we're just having fun. Yeah, we're just having fun being silly and getting our glasses steamed up and yeah, burning ourselves. Oh, it's Careful. really wet though, yeah. Instantly. Oh, I can unwrinkle my clothes. Hey. Yeah, that'd be good, yeah. <laughs> Woohoo, I found a new use for the steam <laughs> Nice. Yeah, you can hear down there. Yeah, knock out all your wrinkles. <laughs> it's a wrinkle release, sir. Wrinkle release. All right, we're gonna leave our steam vents behind and hit this little trail system up here. So steaming bluff overlook is that way. The sulfur banks boardwalk is this way. Oh. How do you say that name? Oh, Halema Uma U. Halema Uma. Halema Uma U, so that's the crater. All right, let's take a quick peek at this easy overlook first and remember what we can see from here. <laughs> Okay, here's our first peeks across the crater. Ooh, baby. Oh, we got steam vents right here by us. Oh, I feel that cool air though. That's nice. What is happening over there? Oh, Steph's got the big tall Insta360 camera. 
Do you get all those dramatic photos? It's so cool. Last time it was not steaming this much, no. so this is exciting to see, but it's because it was active just a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And now it's dormant again. I think that's the right term. Yeah. I'm just like, let it go off today. No. no. Yeah, I think they said all the way up to February 2023, it was yeah. still active. And then here we are in uh, what, end April, April, end of April. Yeah. Yep, she's going to sleep again for now, but still steaming. Good night, sweet volcano. <laughs> sweet dream. <laughs> that little camera stick is camera nuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what, <laughs> what's the heat rating on that thing? <laughs> I don't know, but if it catches on fire, what a great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Go out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Guys, a word of warning. There might be steam vents here, so just beware. Oh. Yep. Well, we're gonna follow this trail along the rim and I think we'll connect up to the sulfur banks area up here. Look at this, wow. Amazing. Look at this one. Oh, this dramatic one just started puffing right up over well, there. Take footage, I just wanted, this is like epic like- Oh, here we go. Epic cinematography mode, engage. Whoa, this is cute, <laughs> kinda epic. It's like cold and then hot. It's weird. Like a Stephen King movie. I saw the mist. It didn't work <laughs> out well. I'm continuing along the trail now. We've come to kind of like a steam ditch. Oh wow, this is really um the activity has kicked up since we got here. We are good luck. We are hoping for all the drama and all the things to happen while we're here. Cry game. I know. It feels nice right here. Yeah, this is a good temperature, but we're literally next to a steam ditch. Well, if we cross the road right here, this should take us over to the sulfur banks officially. Oh gosh, we'll just pretend Steph's our tour guide because it's like a giant <laughs> tour guide <laughs> stick. Oh, yeah. Really. <laughs> it is like that when they're like, follow my, my yeah, sign. Like <laughs> it is delightfully cool yeah. back here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, we get our first peek at the sulfur banks up ahead. Just follow this trail around. Oh, we're starting to smell that sulfur. Oh yeah, the little nene. We saw them last time we were here. You know, all the trails here are pretty paved and amazing, and now we've hit this cool boardwalk. Well, this is probably about the prime viewing spot for the sulfur banks, and the prime olfactory spot for all them schmales. Well, I guess we've got sulfur, gypsum, opal, hematite. Well, let's head back to the car. See about getting to the overlook. Well, if we hang it right here, there is our parking lot. Our parking lot's on fire. Oh no, that's just, <laughs> just steam vents. Back to the ride. All right, we have made it to the Kilauea Overlook. Ooh, oh, let's go overlook it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ooh, these views will be cool. Oh, there is our peek down into the crater. Yeah, so a different angle. Lots of steam. No active lava as of the last couple of months, apparently, though. There's all kinds of reading and learning to be done up here. I know the uh, museum, I think, is up top there, but it's either typically closed. You get about the same views as you do from down here. It's coming out very dark. Here, let's lighten you guys up, because, oh, there we go. I don't know why it came out so dark on camera. Oh, yeah, there's different colors of steam and smoke and things rising up from out there in the middle of the crater. We're getting, like, yellows and oranges. All right, back to the ride, and we are going to go hit the other side of the park for a while. We we'll stop now at the Kilauea Iki Overlook, oh, yeah, so you can peek down here. I think we'll do the little stroll to the lava tube from here because the parking area at the lava tube gets a little congested sometimes. There we go, half mile to Thurston Lava Tube. Everybody in! Guys, let's go down the creepy hole! Oh man! We'll pop our heads up and take a picture. <laughs> well, here we go. This is a much better overlook than we saw at the parking lot. 
Oh, yeah, you can see the trail across, and there's little people walking. I mean, you know, they're regular sized people, but they are down there doing this hike. Woo! Guys, we found a tour group, and we can listen and glean information. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah, all the little spots. These trees and vegetation are like super cool through here. Crikey, we're on the hunt for a lava tube. You can see how it was lava at one point. Yeah, there's tons of little overlooks up here. The one at the, oh my gosh, giant I stick. I was like, what is that? Oh, yeah, the overlook at the uh, parking lot had a ton of trees in front of it, but the ones on the trail are actually a lot nicer, I think. Yeah. I think every viewpoint gets better as we make our way down yeah. this trail. Wow. Yeah, the further we walk, the more of like an angle you have on it. All those little dots down there doing their hike today. Last time we were here it was sunny, so that was like the surface of the sun down there. Oh, I bet it would be hot. Because <laughs> there's no shade. You can do it! <laughs> well, we've made it to the parking lot at the Thurston Lava Tubes. Now down the ramp, across the street. Oh, there's the trail down to the crater hike. Nah, we'll go this way. Thurston Lava Tube. All right, steep descent. Let's go. Yeah, we're all vlogging as we come down the, <laughs> the ramp. See a ramp, stairs. Oh, those curly ferns. And yeah, we're making our way down, which of course means we'll have to make our way back up. Yeah. Oh man, the just giant, the noises the through here. Yeah. yeah, we're all just kind of marveling at the giant nature trees. So the tube is dark from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and you would need a flashlight, but we've got lights in there for this time of day. And here we go. This is the entrance officially. <gasps> Gosh, it was focused on the dark of the cave. It's turned you into a brilliant white ghost. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, it fixed it now. So this whole thing was created by lava. There is no lava here. Other, you know, it looks like it because there's <laughs> giant orange lights. But <laughs> so there's the entrance we just came in. And if we whoosh around this way, the camera's like, I really don't want to focus on anything in the dark. Oh wow, it really doesn't. There we go. That's a little better. Made the shape that's so cool. I guess so. Science. Little well, low clearance zones. Duck. Let's say they have this marked off because that's a little bit of a danger over there. We have survived the lava tube. It's very lovely and nice and cold in here and damp. But watch your footing because it can be slippery. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a couple of low places, but they have yeah. them marked with big cones and things. <gasps> there's the exit. Science is amazing. <laughs> and we go up and out. Looks like we made it out of the lava tube. Back across the street here at this parking lot, which is quite full. So now we'll go back to the jungle, find our car. Up the slope. Oh, hey, a parking lot. Yay! Wahoo! Some more views down on the Kilauea Iki crater, I guess, where the trail is. Up here at this lookout, which leads to the Devastation Trail. I think Hello. we might have our little lunch here because we still have our musubi from the convenience store. We got some chips. chips macadamia nut cookies, snacks. water, all those good Hawaiian snacks. You know, yeah, you gotta get them. There's no tables or anything, but there's like a nice little wall and some stuff where I think we'll just mm -hmm. hang out. Eat some food and get ready for a little more trail walking. Devastation trail. Wow. Don't you guys want to go walk on that? No, it's it's awesome actually. I recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> so chips, cookies. I picked up some Hawaiian water. You got your little drink there. Musubi. And a bag of musubi. There's a little closer shot of this musubi. So it's basically marinated spam. You've got sushi rice essentially wrapped in a big old hunk of seaweed, some sesame seeds, and other goodness in there. Mm. Well, we're fueled up by spam on Nene territory. Anyway, Ooh, time for trail. Fun. Yep, the sun's out now. All right, thus begins the walk. 
a mile round trip. Very nice and paved as all the trails around here have been. So this is all bits of the cinder cone volcano I think we learned. Do not enter area closed. Yeah, you don't walk on it. See the flowers growing up? Oh yeah. Let's stop and check out all these trees. These red flowers. Well now we've just come out of the trail that direction and it opens up into this giant barren cinder field. A few trees over on this side. Wow. Full spin. Oh, here comes Steph. Well, if memory serves, the only thing down the rest of this trail is more cinders, more trees, and the other parking lot. So I think from this point, we'll turn around and head back to the car. That way we can make the most of the time we've got left here on our sort of short port day. It is a short, yeah. Ah, uh, no nene yeah. goose today. Well, let's ride and ride. lot of good pull-offs to see lava flows. This is the first good, good, good looking one we saw. We're starting to feel those sea breezes. Oh wow, here it comes. All this lava. And you can just get out and walk around on it. Well, this is not the first time this trip that we will have walked on lava, but hey, <laughs> this quantity of lava. And I mean, it's all across the road. So sparkly if you look down. And then it's like, you know, all barren. And then you're just like, boom, a tree with cool red flowers. <laughs> we found fun lava. Ooh, we like when it makes the little patterns. Oh, that's, oh, that's pretty cool over there too. Yeah. Ooh, the wind. All right, let's head back to the ride. Oh. We stopped at the next recommended overlook. It's funny how just looking back, you can see the tree line and then where the lava just flowed through here, there's a nice little uh, sort of wooden overlook we can go up to. These massive, massive chunks. It's a nice looking little overlook though. Very cool. We can look at all of this over here, all the way down to the water. Looking off in the opposite direction, we can see all those trees over there too. All right, we've taken a poll of the group and we've, we're down to about two hours until we need to be back on board the ship. So I think we are going to skip the sea arch and head back down. Back to the port of Hilo, dropped off our Turo rental car. Now we're ready to cross back to that ship over there. Whoop. Why are the plumes of smoke coming out of our ship? That's not a good sign. Let's get back over there. Oh, there's a peek at the Hawaiian flag. Got the Union Jack, eight stripes. We've got a whopping 18 minutes until back on board time. Oh, I see a lot of people have decided to stay off and make <laughs> use of their time. It's a short day. Yeah. Oh, let's join this line. All right, well, this is quite the slow little process. All right, home sweet home. Wahoo. Dinner time, fresh and clean mode. Ready for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm still in semi-casual mode. Yeah. Shorts, footy socks, that kind of stuff, because I think we're going 
to the local. Took a vote as a group and we decided yeah. that would be good. <laughs> so semi-cash. Yeah. Tell me about your day with some volcanoes. It was awesome. So yes, we did it before and we did it again this time, but it is cool to go back even if you've done it once before because the landscape changes it and does. things look different and sometimes they're more active. It was a beautiful day, mm -hmm. no rain at all, nice cool breeze up at the top. I don't know, it was really awesome. Super Just steamy. Love it. And we walked like five miles, oh, like yeah, 10,000 steps. steps. So that was awesome. Get those steps in. I don't know. It's it's just a really cool thing. And unlike any other national park, I think that you'll find in any other U.S. state. So True. Definitely recommend. So thanks to Kilauea for having all that <laughs> steam for us today. We didn't take any Pe Pele pebbles on our shoes. No, we Make didn't. Make sure. No. Because <laughs> next up, we are getting ready to have a whole bunch of sea days, and we are going to Alaska now. Our I next know. point of call is Icy Straight Point in six days. Stay tuned. There will be a lot more fun than sad Hawaii's over. It went so stinking fast, but it was amazing to experience it with friends who have never been mm -hmm. here before. Yeah. Honestly, that was part of the coolest thing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So sad. Let's go but so happy for Alaska. We we'll cheer ourselves up at the local. Yes. Right, come on. <laughs> Bye. Well, we're taking the elevators up to deck seven forward. Look at me over there. We haven't actually come out in this zone, I don't believe. Oh, yes, we have. I don't know why I thought we would have to go through the casino. All right, well, let's go through the local, meet up with the gang, and then come back to the local. <laughs> All right, let us see if we can get a table. Yeah. Oh, a nice little booth over here in the corner. It's just what we needed. All right, we're doing a little bit of exploration now to see some stuff we haven't seen yet. Over here on the other side of guest services is Henry's Pub. We've all been sitting here going, where the heck is Henry's Pub? Nice. It's really hidden over here. Well, how about that? A pub. Oh, we're gonna sneak out this door in Henry's Pub and look outside, actually. This is even cute on the outside. Okay, it's really windy. Let me see if I can block the microphone. Look at this thing. Yeah, there's like mist flying through the air out here. Let's see if we can get some basking on without too much wind noise or rain spattered screen. Or not rain, it's mist off the ocean. Sun's going down a little bit. Yeah, I know. Everybody's wind blown. We're like, don't look at us. Well, our next question is, can you get to the front of the ship? Oh, here's the exterior part of uh, Le Bistro. Oh, I guess this is a walking track down here. Oh, well, we're walking the wrong way, but I mean, that's kind of what we're known for. I know. Oh, dear. Okay, we found one of these weird little areas. It's like we're going into a crew zone at the front of uh, front of seven. Gosh, it's echoey in here. <laughs> Acoustics are wonderful. Well, we found the very front of the deck, and this is what it looks like. Oh, hey. Whoosh. There's a little plaque. Can we read it? Mm, kinda. Anyway, let's carry our echoey journey on around the corner. They do have little portholes, I guess. You could look out with glass in them, but no, like, front access. The sky's really pretty over here on the non-sunset side, too. Hmm. Anyway, we're trying to see if we can see some whales out here because technically, we're migrating, well, they're migrating along with us and we're following them to Alaska. Well, it's getting a little dark. Let's jump back in. Ah, casino. Well, we can't really record in the casino, but we're passing through to get a peek at the social. Well, it's nice as non-smoking in here, but they have a smoking room up top, yeah? All right, well, boom, we've made it to social comedy and nightclub. Well, this is cozy looking. Oh, gosh. Oh, is this just kind of like an antechamber? This is the bar part, and then the social continues in there. Oh, fun. They're shooting the morning show in there right now, so we're not going to sneak in there, but that is the actual comedy club part. Well, 
this mar area is stinking amazing why did we not find this until now back down into the casino which we won't be able to see for a few days on camera because um it's going to be open for at least five days in a row <laughs> and back out but yeah this is opposite the entrance to the local standing here listening to the floor creak here on deck seven forward starboard side and apparently the folks who live on deck six forward starboard side are not having a good time with this noise maybe avoid deck six whoa there's some wind <laughs> avoid deck six forward starboard side unless you want this in your ceiling all night long uh -uh. Welcome to deck 12. We are looking for, oh, there it is, Spinnaker. Not, Not the Pulse, that's a fitness center, yeah. I guess there's tunes in here right now. That's kind of cool. This is like the observation lounge concept on top of the world. We were trying to stay up for like a game show. There's a glow party tonight, but our party is a sleep party. I should do that like tomorrow when we haven't just finished all these ports in a row. I'm surprised they stuck the glow party yeah. on the fourth out of, you know, four intensive Hawaii port days, honestly. I think they'll have more parties, but anyway, I think so. it's okay. Yeah, we ain't gonna glow to no party tonight. So anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna glow to bed. We're glowing to bed. Yes y'all good day overall amazing i don't think we really need to dig apart a dinner at the local it was all solid yeah. food just snowball salmon vinaigrette which is oh weird. that was interesting yeah, your dressing choices were ranch blue cheese and thousand island no balsamic no italian nothing lighter i was like okay yeah. but i mean you know it is what it is so. but everything else it was, I, tasty. It was tasty hot fresh quick all that good stuff Yo, good night we will see you tomorrow for some kind of z day yeah we'll see how it works out good night, good night.